everybody. Video here for you. Our air conditioning went out overnight, so I have some people here trying to fix it. So I'll see if I can do a video here while I'm just sitting here waiting for them to get done. But we're going down to Ohio today. Chillicothe, this is called the Steel Group Earthwork. This part of Ohio was full of ancient earthworks, and I mean full of them. It just wasn't a few isolated areas. They, they really covered a large area of ancient Ohio. Here today, not much remaining. A lot of these have been lost to history, so that's why I talk about them. Here's the area where the ruins are located. Today you can't see much. There is one circular earthwork that you can still make out. I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But these geometric earthworks, it's really amazing how many of them they were, and they were spread out all over this area. Let's take a look here, what this place looked like here through some magnetrometry photographs here. There you see, large circular hinge with an opening right here. A lot of other things in the area that are totally lost to history and visible, except with some high-tech photography equipment here. Here's a map done by E.G. Squire in 1847. You notice all these earthworks. Some of these I have talked about. Some of these I have not. Large circular ones, geometrical ones. This one right here looks a lot like something that we have found in the Amazon recently. Down here at the bottom, circular earthworks all over this area. This is pretty amazing, but I believe the steel earthworks are found right down here. I think that's that farm. I'm showing you right down there. Here's a diagram of the steel earthworks. You notice these enclosures have little gates in them, and I'm sure they were watching the heavens. Other earthworks like this in Ohio, they were certainly watching the moon. The moon was highly important, as it showed in the day and the nighttime. But it says steel earthworks has the highest concentration of small earthworks so far discovered in Ohio. The 81-acre site has 10 earthworks, one of which remains visible despite decades of plowing. It measures 300 50 feet in diameter with an interior ditch and an earthen wall. And that is that one right here. Why don't we just take a look at a video that only has like one or two views that somebody did of this site right here. Here is a video I found. It only has two views, but you can see the earthen circular embankment here on this video. It shows up pretty good. Despite decades of farming, part of this earthwork is still visible here. I will leave this link below. All these earthworks here in the area, they were made with basketfuls or maybe deerskin loads of earthen material, weighing up to 30 pounds, they estimate. In some of these earthworks, it would have taken over a million basketfuls of earthen material to make these. That is pretty impressive. Also, where are some of the artifacts from that are littering these sites? Well, let's just read a little. I will leave this link below, but here they talk about the basketfuls, maybe a million total in some of these earthworks. It says they also procured an array of exotic raw materials from across North America, including grizzly bear teeth from the Rocky Mountains, obsidian from Idaho, mica from North Carolina, copper from the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. And that seemed to go on for a long time. And shells from the Gulf of Mexico. They fashioned these materials into expertly crafted small objects that were buried with the dead. It is not surprising that the archaeological remains of the Hopo people were recognized by early students of North America prehistory as something beyond the ordinary. This is just a fascinating subject to explore. So it's one thing just to look at the earthworks and just be kind of amazed by what these people built, but I'm even more amazed sometimes at how far their trade network expanded through ancient America. But you notice the steel earthworks down here. There's a plateau right next to it. Looks like there is a large enclosure on top of that ridge. And there's also a set of earthworks just to the southeast of it here. So there's ruins probably right up on this ridge, or there was at one time, right up in this neighborhood here. And then just to the southeast, these are called the junction earthworks. They are kind of mowed into this field here. So you get an idea of what they look like a long time ago. And I believe I have talked about these. Maybe I talked about these in my Chillicothe video. But that's another earthwork group right next to the steel earthworks here. But the more I look at these earthworks from across ancient America, I can kind of tell now if they were looking at the sun or the moon. But they were certainly observing the heavens and exploring their minds. I wasn't kidding on that video last night. But there are certain patterns that are becoming clear to me. 
that they were watching the heavens. That was very important to them. But let's just read a little here. These earthworks here were built with intent, geometric patterns, reminiscent of what we find even in the Amazon. There is a look here, but there is one kind of unique earthwork here. It's shaped like a diamond. It says one of the earthworks on the site is not the typical blend of square and circle, known as a squircle, but instead shaped more like a diamond, a form that is not seen in any other earthwork complex. It says at the bottom here, purchasing 81 acres of Ohio farmland in the immediate path of residential development is a daunting fundraising challenge, but a worthy one. We hope to work with the land preservation partners like those that have helped with the purchase of nearby Junction Group and Spruce Hill Earthworks. So there is attempts to conserve, conserve this history here that not a lot know about. It's already been eliminated in a lot of areas pretty much, but at least we have people trying to preserve this stuff here. That is the steel earthworks right here. And they just came up to my door. Air conditioning is all fixed. Hopefully the apartment will cool off from the 87 degrees it is right now pretty quickly, <laughs> but that kind of worked out well. Gave me some time to do a video while I'm just sitting here. Ohio is full of lost earthworks. I want to do at least one or two of these videos a week so I can get my Ancient America series almost complete. Will that ever happen? I don't know. A lot of you people are sending me in stuff all the time. My lists keep on getting longer, not smaller, but that's okay. This is lost history that people want to know about. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have. Very nice.